Hi, it's Jason from Fraser Valley Rose Farm and I finally got a beautiful sunny day on the farm here. So now I can show you this. I've had this in my hands for a while. It is a power bank, but the difference now is people ask me the question of whether it can be used with solar power. Blue Eddy has sent me the new power bank and they've sent me the attachment to show you how to use solar power with one of these power banks. So that's what I'm going to focus on today. Now, I made a video last year on the AC200P power bank. This one is the AC200L. So it comes with a few upgrades. It's a slightly higher watt delivery, a slightly higher capacity, it charges in 45 minutes, it can be controlled by the app, it can be used as a universal power supply. I am going to put all of those specs into uh, this video in some info screens. I'll put some links below, but the real star of the show for this case is this thing here. It's actually kind of a slick attachment for the power bank. It comes directly from Blue Eddy and it's built for this. And this one is their solar panel. Uh, I'm going to fold it out and give you a look. It's quite large, gathers a lot of energy. I'll hook it up, I'll show you how easy that is, and show you why this is really useful for a case like ours, where we are on a farm, we uh, go on lots of outings, and this acts as our power bank, and on a sunny day, this will recharge it as we use it, giving us virtually unlimited power. All right, I've chosen a sunny spot here, and let me get you a look at how uh, slick this thing is. It's easily carried by one person. It's not all that heavy and it folds out to a very large surface. It's made of this durable fabric that uh, I love and also the cords are all built in and come right out the side through this pouch here. So all you have to do is unzip and plug it in. So let me actually unstrap this and show you how large a surface this actually turns into. Okay, now that is a decent size collection area. Now you could lean it up against a surface of some sort, but it actually also comes built in with what you see here. These are actually stands that kick out from the back of it. And it has sturdy grommets on the bottom and top edge that you can actually, if you imagine yourself going to a campsite using tent pegs, or in my case, probably ground cloth staples to peg it into the ground so it doesn't move and then lean it back onto those stands. Let me show you. So here's what it looks like from the back when you kick in those stands there. And those stands angles are adjustable at uh, this case 55 degrees is what I've set it up to, but it can go down to 45 degrees or whatever, depending on, uh, I guess, the angle of the sun and the latitude that you're on. And of course, as mentioned, you can use these sturdy grommets on the sides to either peg or tie them in and have that uh, solar panel further secured in place. So now all that remains to be done is to unzip the pouch and plug it into the power bank to start recharging. And here's the, uh, these are included in the package, all of these hookups, uh, both for charging it from solar and from charging it for other sources. Here's the port in the side of the power bank where it fits in and it's an easy screw in application. And this cord itself is about 15 feet. So you can have the solar panel some distance away. Here's the readout on the power bank. You can see it's bringing in something around 340 watts of power from that uh, solar panel. And uh, it's sitting at 40, 54%. It started at 53, so it's up by a percent already. It actually shows here the estimated time to full charge is three hours, assuming that I'm not using any devices on it at the same time. But you actually can be using both drawing from the power bank and be charging it at the same time. So there's no hang up there. Uh, I think this would keep up with a decent amount of use when it's uh, bringing in 340 watts. So real talk then, how useful is a power bank like this? And I've had one in my hands for about a year. Anything that I can plug into the wall outlet or that I can plug into a USB charger, I can charge or use power from this on the spot. And that's helpful for us. I mean, I'm not gonna say that this is the solution for an off-grid home or homestead. It's not really built for that. This is supplemental power. It's kind of handy for us. And the way I use it most often is that when our, we have our frequent power outages here, we're in a rural area, I can t use this to bring into the house and quickly set up and get the essentials running. And by essentials, I just mean like uh, the coffee maker, if we need coffee, uh, run uh, the internet, the television, 
some lights. Uh, and if it's a brief enough power outage, that's probably enough and I don't have to break out the big, heavy and noisy generator to get us power. Uh, for other uses, I obviously use this around the farm as well. I'll bring it to any project that I'm doing where I don't want to haul out 150 feet of uh, extension cord to use tools. I also take it on the road with me and when I'm doing YouTube, uh, I will use it to charge all my devices or bring it to the farmer's market so that I have power for my square terminal. So it has lots of uses that way. Uh, if you're not going to use it frequently, you can at least for this model anyway, use it as a UPS or an uninterruptible power supply for important devices in your home. As for this model, the AC200L, the one I had before was the AC200P by the same brand, Blue Eddy, and they are very similar in terms of specs, although this one is just a slight upgrade in a number of respects that I mentioned earlier. One thing that I have found handy is that this one can be controlled through my app, which is kind of nice because I don't like dealing with uh, the LCD and touchscreen menus or touch menus on a device like this. I'd rather use all the configuration tools that are available on the app, and I'll show you some screenshots of that as well. So overall, I'd say it's handy. I am super impressed by the slickness and presentation of this solar panel. I know that uh, I won't be breaking it out all the time. It really is only good in uh, dry weather like this. You don't want to have this out in the rain. But if, for instance, we uh, planned a beach day or an outing with the family and needed to have some power where everybody, even the extended family, could charge things or have access to power, this is a great solution for that. It's going to make us a hit at family gatherings. All right, thanks so much for uh, watching today. If you have any questions about this, I'm by far not an expert on, uh, on alternate power, uh, but I can see what I can do to help and uh, drop those into the comments below the video.